YouTube buddies, Katie here, and today I'm going to be vlogging myself reading Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have heard my spiel. I never read the Twilight series when it was really popular and I was feeling left out. So I decided to read them and I decided to vlog myself reading them so that way you guys could see my reactions firsthand. So I will leave a link to all of my previous Twilight vlogs in the description if you're interested in watching those. And here we go. Enjoy. Well, I had to go to two different libraries, but I found it. <laughs> Yay. I still can't believe that they're getting married. He actually manipulated her into getting married and listening to her plan the wedding and like tell her parents and try on her wedding dress is giving me really bad anxiety. Like I'm getting cold sweats just reading it because she's 18. What the heck? The gold in his eyes seemed to harden from a liquid to a solid. What does that even mean? <laughs> Alice is putting Bella's garter on her and I feel so cheated. I feel so cheated. Alice and Bella should have been together. So I apologize for being vulgar, but I'm at the scene where Jacob is mad because he's just found out that Edward and Bella are going to do the do before she's a vampire, and he's mad. And I kind of agree with him. I mean, I don't like Jacob. Don't get me wrong. I used to like Jacob in New Moon, but I totally 100% hate Jacob now. But he's kind of right, okay? Because she's never done that before, so it would hurt her even if he was a human. But he's a vampire. He's like a, a, a vampire. He's strong and cold and made of stone. That's a terrible idea. He could kill her. What are they thinking? Two things. One, we don't get to see it. I mean, it makes sense because it's a YA and like everyone read this when they were in middle school, so I'm glad. But, like, Sarah J. Mass wouldn't have hesitated. And, two, did they do that in the pool? Like, in the water? Because, girl, you're going to get a yeast infection. What are you doing? Edward is so nice in this one. Like, what? <laughs> this is making me kind of upset. Because she's finally decided that she likes being a human. And she wants to go to college. And she's like, maybe being a human isn't so bad. But, like... I know that she's pregnant, and she's going to have to be a vampire soon, and that sucks. Every time he calls her Mrs. Cullen, I want to vom. Okay, so I was listening to the audiobook while I was at work, and Bella's pregnant, and it gave me hella anxiety reading about it. I knew she was going to be pregnant, but like just hearing her think about it, my hands were sweating and like I was wearing gloves because I was in the lab. It was disgusting. But uh, I have a couple questions about the logistics about her being pregnant. I'm not trying to be rated R here, but uh, Edward doesn't have bodily functions. Like he can't even cry. So how? Also, he doesn't have a heartbeat. So he wouldn't even be able to like get up. So, so how? Maybe that's why it didn't really hurt her that much, because it was just flaccid. <laughs> but the science behind it, there, there is none. There's, there's no science behind it. And also, so he would be able to notice if he was producing liquids, right? So why would they not wear a condom just to be safe? Because I wouldn't want vampire sperm. And now I'm at the part with Jacob. And I hate him. I hate him. He's so whiny. I There's no way I'm going to get through this entire book of Jacob. I looked in the book and it's like this thick. I'm not going to survive. And I have to listen to him describe Quill and Claire, that little girl. I'm going to be sick because I know what's coming. And I'm going to be sick. I can't, I can't even read that. Who would write that? I'm freaking out and I need to calm down. But like, I don't think I'm going to survive this book. I really don't. Hold up. Why is this making me emotional? Edward is like really upset. He thinks Bella's gonna die and I'm actually invested and <laughs> what? Okay, so this thing with the chromosomes, that's not science. That doesn't make any sense at all. Like at all. Leah is awesome and I just want her to be happy. 
Oh my gosh, Edward can hear the baby when she's in her stomach. He can hear her. Oh, that's so sweet. I passed a couple of malls, which probably would have been pretty good places to find girls my age, but I couldn't make myself stop. Did I want to imprint on some girl who hung out in a mall all day? Jacob can choke. It bothers me that she's spending this much time setting up Jacob and Leah just to have Jacob fall in love with an infant. And also at this point, I think I just need to admit that I love Edward. I really like Edward a lot. He's great. I was wrong. I wish that this Edward could have been the Edward in all the other books, because if he had just been acting this way the whole series, I would have never had a problem with him. This Breaking Dawn husband Edward is great. It was not smart to try to listen to this scene while I'm at work. <laughs> to the birth scene while I was in the lab, and that was not a good idea. <laughs> I really am surprised that I did not lose the contents of my stomach. I'm being serious. I felt faint. I felt like I was going to be sick. <laughs> And then, Jacob imprinted on a baby, and I got to see that from his point of view. I am disgusting. At least Bella is a vampire now. I've been looking forward to this, so hopefully she's as badass as I want her to be. <laughs> okay, while I was driving home from work, I was listening to her describe being a vampire now, and she was talking about seeing Edward for the first time as a vampire, and how when she was a human, he looked beautiful, but now with her heightened vampire sight, he looked different, and for just a brief second, I thought she was going to be like, he's actually not that cute. <laughs> but she didn't. He's even more beautiful than before, but I just think it would be really funny if she turned into a vampire and all of a sudden Edward just looked like a regular person. <laughs> you nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? I... I hope she kills him. Jacob is ruining everything and I hate him with every single fiber of my being and I'm so upset that there is video evidence on the internet of me reading New Moon and being Team Jacob. Like, anyone can just see that. That I used to be Team Jacob. I'm sickened. How could he drag Charlie into this? Like, he doesn't even care. He doesn't even think. He doesn't even have a brain. Also, it's been like 50 pages and I still can't get over you nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster. Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> Why is that the thing that makes her attack him? <laughs> so, I was just thinking about it, and Alice told Bella that the venom in her eyes would dissolve her color contacts. So if there's venom in her eyes, that would mean that there's venom in all of Edward, which I'm sorry to bring this back up again, but I just can't get over it. Why would they have been unprotected if he has venomous sperm? Because couldn't that have turned her or killed her? Why were they not thinking about that? I mean, maybe I'm overthinking this whole thing. So it's Thanksgiving, and my family decided to watch Twilight, the first movie, and just make fun of it. And while I was watching it, I started getting this very strange feeling in my chest. And then at the end, when Decode by Paramore came on, I realized that I have been depriving myself of this series and I'm not letting myself like it because I feel like I'm not supposed to because I know it's bad. I, on some level, I know that it's garbage. It's not a good book series, but like my heart wants to love it. And I think I should just let myself love it because I didn't read the series when I was in middle school and when everyone was obsessed with it. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't deprive that part of myself. If I want to like a cheesy vampire romance series, I should just let myself do that. So, I'm aware that the series is trash, and yes, I hate it. And yes, so much of it makes me roll my eyes and want to puke. But also, it's like so fun. And I did not expect this switch. When I decided to start vlogging myself reading these, I was doing it for entertainment purposes because I thought that you guys would just be able to see me rant about how much that I hated it. I was not expecting to be converted, but here I am and 
I'm almost done with the book, but I've just decided to embrace this part of myself. I guess I'm a Twihard now. I was supposed to destroy the dark side, not join them. Okay, I'm gonna get to reading now. <laughs> I've been feeling like these books needed some more diversity, and so when they started introducing all the vampires from different parts of the world, I got really excited, and I was like, here it comes. And then Bella was like, all of the Egyptian vampires look the same, and these Amazon vampires are so uncivilized. And I'm like, Steph! So I've been checking all of these books out from the library because I was thinking, I don't want to own those. You know, there's no reason for me to spend money on the Twilight series. It's not like I'm ever going to read it again. But uh, a new used bookstore opened up in my town just recently. And to make a long story short, I bought them. <laughs> ha ha! You know, that intro where I was pretending like I hadn't read the book yet and I was really disappointed to start reading it? It was a lie. It was YouTube making magic because I already finished it last night. I enjoyed the ending a lot more than I thought I was going to. A lot of people told me that there's a big, huge build-up for nothing to happen, and I agree with that. And I'm pretty disappointed that the Volturi just walked away, and they get to live, and no one died, and there were no consequences, and everyone lived happily ever after. I understand why she wanted to do it, because it's just that kind of book series where you want a happy ending. But... I don't know, I, I kind of feel like she's leaving it open-ended so that if she wants in like another 10 years from now to write another book series in this universe, she can. But I was a little annoyed that they just talked and there was all this build-up and I was like on the edge of my seat just for nothing to happen. I did really enjoy that Bella was actually doing stuff and I loved seeing all of the other vampires and I love her world building like she's built up such a cool world to focus on such a stupid story <laughs> like when we found out that Jacob's pack aren't werewolves they're just shapeshifters but real werewolves are a thing and like I want to see the real werewolves that sounds cool like where are they <laughs> so here are my closing thoughts on the Twilight series here's the thing when the movies started coming out, I was 12. I was in middle school, and it was huge, as I'm sure all of you remember. All of my friends loved it. Like, I wasn't cool if I wasn't part of this huge thing. And I wasn't allowed to read the books because my mom was afraid that the stuff in Breaking Dawn was going to mess me up. She was probably right, but, you know. So I ended up reading Twilight, the first one, in secret one day when I was 12, just so I could feel included. And I remember really actually kind of enjoying it. I thought that the dialogue was stupid and there were some things that I didn't like. But to be honest, I remember being 12 and staying up and reading that book overnight in one night and just thinking, wow, like this cover is so beautiful. And like, I used to be really afraid of vampires. So this book series made me not afraid of vampires because they were the good guys. I don't know, it was so like juicy and it, the dialogue, even though it was stupid, kind of stuck with me. And I remember that. And I decided not to continue reading the series because I didn't want to have to hide it from my mom. And then by the time I was old enough to read Twilight, to be allowed to read Twilight, the hype was gone, and now the new cool thing was to hate it. So I just decided that I wasn't going to read them because I, I'd seen the movie. I knew that it was cheesy. So I just decided to join the Twilight hating bandwagon, and I never read them until now. And I thought when I started doing this that I was going to vlog myself reading them, and it was going to be like an entertaining thing for you guys, like, oh, watch me bash on Twilight for however long. Honestly, they're bad. They're not good books. And there, there are lots of things in them that are pretty twisted and messed up. But that being said, I completely understand why so many people liked these books when they came out and continue to like them. Because there's something about them that's fun. And I think that the reason it's so cool to hate Twilight is kind of the same reason it's cool to hate Ruby Core or to hate boy bands or just anything that a lot of girls like. And I was buying into that mentality until halfway through this book. I was actively part of that bashing culture 
And so I just want to apologize if you guys have been watching these vlogs and you're a fan of Twilight. I've been pretty unfair. And while, yes, these books are terrible and the writing is objectively horrible and there are things in here that are abusive and they're just really fun to make fun of, while all of those things are true, I don't think that you have to hate Twilight to be cool. And I don't think that me actively avoiding reading the series for so long and then me being hell-bent on making fun of it for a YouTube series, I don't think that was the right mentality to go about things because these books were fun to read and I kind of didn't even let myself enjoy them while I was reading them for you guys because I felt like I was supposed to hate them. And I'm gonna reread them. And right now, what I'm gonna do, I think all of the movies are on Netflix, and I have only ever watched the first one enough times to really remember it. So I think I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and put on some fuzzy socks and just have myself a little Twilight marathon, because I deserve that. In conclusion, these books are awful. They're, they're so terrible that they are negative one star, but they're also five star books. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like or subscribe to my channel. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the Twilight series. Also, I recently hit 500 subscribers and I didn't say anything about it because I was kind of in shock, but I just want to say thank you so much for being so kind to me and accepting me into this community. I never thought that I would get anywhere near 500 subscribers, so I'm so grateful. Thank you all so much. I love you, and I love BookTube, and I love making videos, and I'm gonna try to keep improving. Yeah, sorry for being cheesy, but I just have a lot of feelings. <laughs> I will see you all again very soon with a new video, but until then, happy reading.